Welcome to an introduction to Edmodo, a video tutorial that will help you get started in Edmodo and set up a class and hopefully start using it. It won't um, go too deeply into the bells and whistles that um, the program offers, but that definitely will be covered in a second video tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. Now the first thing we need to realise is that the school has set up its own Edmodo portal. So um, we will, um, if we go straight to that URL, you'll see here it's, there's no www, it's sanaloysius.edmodo.com and you see down here where my mouse is, it says Edmodo for St. Aloysius College. So that's our portal. And that allows you to be go straight into the school's Edmodo community, um, which is a very useful thing. Now, down below, if you want an overview of um, Edmodo, you can just click on this little button here and, and a video tutorial comes up that you may like to watch. But for, for the moment, we'll just get started. So it's very easy to get in. All you need to do is you say, oh, I'm a teacher at St. Aloysius College. So to do that, you need to be able to type in the school code. Now, the school code is PS3329. Now, after that, all you do is type in your school username, just your standard username, your standard school password, your school email, um, select your title, and then your first name and last name, and then you're in. All right, it's as simple as that. So the main mechanism is the school code, and Edmodo works on the code mechanism as a security, as a way to keep um, various pages and um, portals secure from unwanted visitors. All right, so I am already a member, so I'm not going to sign in again. So I'll just sign up now, and we'll get in. And here we are at my page. All right, so if you're a Facebook user, then Probably the thing that will grab you most is that it does have a real Facebook feel about it, and that's quite deliberate. Um, they want to appeal to um, to that very popular social network and all the, the people that use that, and they want to um, make those skills transferable into this. So let's get started showing you around, and uh, and then we'll just flip over and, and be a kid and um, and sign up to the group that you're going to create. So first of all, you notice here that you can actually upload a picture of yourself or some other representation of yourself. And you see there that my name is here, Paul Hagen. So you, when you come in, you'll know it's your page. All right. Um, on this left navigation column, uh, there's a lot of functionality that you'll use quite, uh, quite um, regularly. Um, I have a group that I've already created that's listed there. Um, I can I can do certain things um, like put assignments in and make my posts and, and I and um, direct mail to people on this side. I can join other groups. So if other staff members would like me to join their group, uh, I can do that, or I can create my new group, which you'll be doing soon. Here's the group that I have created, uh, and there's a list of all the other staff members that are part of the Sonala Wishes. Edmodo community if you'd like to connect with them. All right. Now, in the middle here, we have um, what is ostensibly a notice board where basically you can make your posts, you can add alerts, you can list your assignments, you can um, post quizzes and polls. And you'll see here um, that kids in my group have posted some work, they've written introductions to an essay, and they've posted them up there for me to look at. Um, they can post uh, book covers and things like that. If I take you down, there's a book cover that a kid's posted up there for me to look at. So mainly classwork. And it's a terrific way for to display student work. All right. On the right side here, we have um, more functionality, but we'll save that for another, um, for another tutorial. The main thing here is this is just your way to manage the, any group that you create. So there's your group code. Your settings, you can actually delete a group in there. Um, you actually have a public page, and, uh, and this is where you manage your group members. So if you end up with a kid or staff member in there that you don't want to be in there anymore, you can delete them. Or you can look at the individual kids' activity and what they've been doing um, within Edmodo. All right, so with no further ado, let's create a group. So 
if I hit here, create, it asks me to type in a group name and I'm just going to call it test group to be boring. And I'll select a grade and make it year eight and then I'll um, subject area, well, just all, all subjects and I'll hit create. Now, you notice here that a little dialog box pops up and it says that your code is FCY5Z9. Now, once you've created that, all you need to do then is to give that code to the students in your class. So write it on the board and as the kids um, join up to Edmodo or basically if they're already members, they can um, sign in and they put that code in and they can automatically become part of your group. All right, so if I go to another page here and I say I'm a student and I'm going to put in that code, I'm going to be FCY5Z9 and then I need a username, so I've done this before, used this called, um, fake name before, so only testing67 it tells you whether it's available. Yes, I've got a dodgy password here. Um, the kids can put their email in. I would, be, I would um, say that that's a good thing for them to do because it's another means um, to know whether they're posted things or not because you get an email, but they don't have to. Then they can put their uh, first um, name, or just a fake name, Steve Hill keep it short and then they can sign up and you'll see here in they go and they have become part of the test group so if I go back to my other browser and I hit test group um, and I see that the over here on the right that that group has two members Oh, I manage to see who that, and you see here, Steve Hill is a member of that group. And what will happen is, when you do it in class, literally 20 names will pop up into this box here, and suddenly you'll have a group. You know, and, and all, all of a sudden they can just start posting and sending information up on that notice board, and, and um, pretty much is then up to you to decide how you're going to manage that and, and what you would like to do with it. All right, but um, that is Edmodo. That's how it works. He actually, there's my an email alert to say that um, that a new member has just joined as well. So it made it make sure that you know what's going on. Now, if I want to get rid of um, anyone from my group, I'll explain that how to do that next time and, and some of the other functionality that you've got, like creating smaller groups and the library and the calendar and the grade book and all those sort of things that are um, that are really useful within the program. All right. I hope that helps um, and I hope um, you'll start using it because it's, it's a terrific program. Thank you.